Hi there, this is Marco Reed, and today we want to tell you a story about the evolution of an amp. To do that, we need to go back to the year 1996. Some of you might know that this was the year the Richie Blackmore signature amp, the E650, was released. To this day, it's still one of the most successful amps in angle history. What you probably don't know is that in 2005, Engel built a special amp for none other than Doug Aldridge, who is a longtime friend of the Engel family. This amp was based on the Richie Blackmore E650. The concept was clear. Simple handling with a maximum of performance. Some alterations were made. For example, a change to EL34 tubes. And after some coming and going between Germany and the USA, an incredible sounding amp was made. Since Doug wasn't ready for an Engel endorsement deal back then, the amp was returned to the Engel LA showroom, where you can still try it out. To this day, a lot of well-known producers borrow this amp for recording sessions. In 2006, an amp with the same features was handed to Gary Moore, who used it as a studio amp, until his unfortunate passing. After that, the amp was returned to the Engel headquarters in Germany. And here it is. Ever since, many great artists tried out these amps and were so convinced that they wanted to have the same amps with a great, outstanding sound. Jimmy Page of Led Zeppelin was given one in 2007 and he still got it in his studio. Scott Gorham of Thin Lizzy and the Black Star Riders is still playing it live and also in the studio. And you can also hear this great amp live on stage at a Kiss show with Paul Stanley or at a Pretty Made show with Ken Hammer. So finally, after all these years, Angle decided to release this great amp to all of you and I'm very, very proud to be a part of the history of the amp now and now it's also time for you to become a part of it. So here it is, the new angle E651 Artist Edition. Mm -hmm. 